Pet Charms, Bunny Surprise, by Amy Edgar and illustrated by Jomik Tejido. Molly had a magic bracelet. When she wore it, she could understand animals. No one knew her secret. The bracelet glowed as she put it on. Molly heard a knock. It was Lexi, Molly's neighbor and best friend. Hi, said Molly. Happy day before your birthday. Thanks, said Lexi. Molly's cat, Stella, padded into the room. Lexi petted her. She had always wanted a pet of her own. Guess what, said Lexi. Mom said I could have a pet for my birthday. That's super, said Molly. What kind will you get? I'm not sure, said Lexi. We don't have room for a cat or dog. That's okay, said Molly. There are lots of great pets. I know what we should do, said Molly. Let's go to Paw's Palace. Great idea, said Lexi. Your Aunt Vera knows all about animals. The girls walked down the block. Molly rang the bell. Hello, girls, said Aunt Vera. Come on in. Molly spotted her good friend, Mr. Wiggles. Molly had saved the puppy during a storm. He had given her the magic bracelet. Mr. Wiggles jumped into her arms. Hello, friend, he barked. He then licked her face. What brings you girls out here today? asked Aunt Vera. Lexi wants to pick out a pet, said Molly. You have so many animal friends, Aunt Vera, said Lexi. Look over here, said Molly. A green snake smiled up at her. Please to see you, he hissed. Aww, said Lexi. Look at those bunnies. Two bunnies stared back at the girls. Aunt Vera handed each girl a bunny. This brown bunny is so sweet and soft, said Lexi. I would love to have him for a pet. This one is sweet too, said Molly. The white bunny looked sad. Molly leaned in. She heard the bunnies talking to each other. Did you hear what that girl said? Asked the white bunny. That she wants to take us home? Asked the brown bunny. Yes, but only one of us, said the white bunny. Oh no, cried the brown bunny. But you're my best friend. Molly bent down. Maybe I can help she whispered. That would be great, said the white bunny. Lexi, I think these bunnies are best friends, said Molly. Like us? asked Lexi. Yes, and I bet they want to stay together, said Molly. You may be right, said Aunt Vera. Most rabbits are happiest when they have a friend. They keep each other company. Can they share one home? asked Lexi. Yes, it's called a hutch, said Aunt Vera. So two bunnies take up the same amount of room as one, Molly added. Maybe I could adopt both bunnies, said Lexi. Molly winked at the bunnies. They wiggled their whiskers. Let's go talk to my mom, said Lexi. She blew the bunnies a kiss, and the friends left Pa's palace. Molly and Lexi ran to Lexi's house. How's your day, girls? asked Lexi's mom. Super! We visited Pa's palace, said Molly. I met two cute bunnies who need a home, Lexi said. Great, said Lexi's mom. Which one should live here? Well, mom, we learned a lot about bunnies, said Lexi. Bunnies are happiest when they have a friend. Plus, Two bunnies can share one hutch, said Molly. Two bunnies, said Mom. I'll have to think about it. Lexi turned to Molly. I can't wait for the pet surprise at my party tomorrow, she said. Lexi's party was off to a great start. She was opening presents. Then the doorbell rang. It was Aunt Vera with the two bunnies. It's a bunny surprise, shouted Molly. Both bunnies are for me? 
Lexi asked. Chocolate or vanilla? asked Lexi's mom. Both, please, said Molly. Chocolate and vanilla go great together. Hey, that's what I'll name my bunnies, said Lexi. Thank you for being our friend, Molly, said Vanilla. Then, Molly saw her bracelet sparkle brightly. She blinked. A new bunny charm was hanging from it. Molly dug into her cake, then looked up and smiled at Chocolate and Vanilla. She was happy to have two furry new friends.